so I can't put it too close. So this is like track. And And then technically it has to repel. Otherwise, it's gonna do like it's gonna do like. Well, it's about 3.13 now, which means two minutes in, two, in about two minutes time, the bell is going to go. I didn't know <laughs> Hello, are you recording me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Wait. Uh, the bell is going to go, so you will need to log up, save what you have done, to do. email it to yourself if necessary, and log up and return the computers. Um, and then we'll be starting soon, and I would love to be there. So hopefully all of you can come as well. Guys, give me a chance to uh, the goal of this project is to create a method of transportation that requires the least amount of effort to operate. For starters, we decided to make a Mangler system, or magnetic levitation. Here we have a parallel track. It's called that because it has parallel magnets on either side of the track and the craft. The parallel track was able to levitate the craft, but was unable to stably suspend it without using exterior support, so we decided to use another design. This is called a valley track. It works by pushing magnets against itself so it doesn't topple. However, the magnets produce the opposite effect when the craft flips over and the magnets try to stick to each other no matter what. After a few more tests, the valet track was determined useless and it was quickly abandoned. It was then we acknowledged the existence of a scientific principle of vital to the success of this project, Earnshaw's Theorem. Earnshaw's Theorem states that a collection of point charges cannot be maintained in a stable, stationary equilibrium configuration solely by the electrostatic interaction of the charges. Essentially, we could not stabilize a levitating magnet just using another permanent magnet. We then decided to do a little research and came up with something known as the Meisner effect. The Meisner effect works by supercooling a superconductor and in doing so allowing the superconducting material to block magnetic fields. So when it is placed into a magnetic track, it moves in a tunnel, a sort of tunnel created by this effect. This is how large-scale maglevs actually levitate. However, we soon figured out that we couldn't really do it because we needed superconducting materials, and we needed something something that goes really, really cold, and we needed something to contain the superconductors. We decided to let the craft have a guide rail and decrease the friction between the rail and the guide as much as possible. This is an animation of a final design. The 40 metal magnets were forged together using duct tape to create two long magnetic tracks that repelled the same pole. Then they were placed underneath a wooden structure with a large gap in the middle. The craft has six ceramic magnets embedded inside the body to minimize the chance of it flipping over. Screws were screwed into the fuselage to create a guide for the craft. It worked beautifully. To make the craft even smoother, I sanded the inside of the track and coated them with a lubricant called WD-40, which was originally created to prevent corrosion in nuclear missiles. For the craft, I taped straws around the screws so that it would not scrape against the gap and create tested and can now travel the full length of the track with just a flick of a finger. We have built a method of transportation that can go 80 cm with extremely little effort, thus completing our target. I achieved nothing and I gained knowledge like a boss. I think. I've achieved a lot in this project. I learned much more about magnets than I could possibly ever have learned otherwise.
I'm glad I chose this topic, and um, I'm pretty proud of myself. It's a joke. Okay. Um. Basically, I think like this project is kind of like it's kind of super challenging, but it's really really fun, especially when like your finger gets clamped magnets. And uh. <laughs> Brendan. And also. Wow, I'm not doing anything. Wait, what did I learn? I learned actually I learned quite a bit. Like. I learned like a ton about like how like the magnetic field and all that and how what the Aaron Shaw the theorem the theorem I don't know how you call that yeah Aaron Shaw's theorem yeah and Aaron Shaw's theorem and then yeah and basically yeah <laughs> Sharon, are you in there? <laughs> are you kidding me? You're not using all the batteries. <laughs> I'm glad I still survived. <laughs> survive what? So funny. What? <laughs> <laughs> like a ball.